Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Deputy Frick, and I'm going on about four years. Awesome. So when I was riding with uh, Deputy Carroll a couple weeks ago, he was telling me it's about five years that you're considered a rookie, so you're about to about to break out of that yeah. that zone. Huh? Sure. <laughs> Favorite part about the job? Everything. I love taking calls, doing traffic and all that. So. Do you have a least favorite part? Maybe the mental hygiene trips. Maybe. Yeah. Mental hygiene trips? Yeah, depending on the day. You mean like with people you have to deal with or like with No, you train. You train four is. people. It's gonna be a highlight of your show right here. It is. Just yes. stop for gas. You know, thousands of people watch it when we share it on YouTube. Of course they make fun of us. <laughs> So I noticed you got the rifle. Is that, you need a special training for that or is that pretty much standard issue now? I need it. It's department issue, so they train you how to use it and all that. And then you have to qualify just like your pistol. So that's it. So it's, it's like part of the standard training yeah. pretty much. Four years, you're the most experienced officer I've ridden with so far. Do you have a, a uh, favorite case or one that stands out more than the others? I'm sure I'll think of something after you leave. <laughs> no, right on the spot. I can't think of it. You deal with a lot of the same stuff after a while. You from around here? Yeah, born and raised. You go to school in Martinsburg? Or? Yeah, I graduated in Martinsburg in 2013. I'm so old. Graduated in Muscle in 2000. <laughs> 2000? Yeah. <laughs> 142 is a 911 hang up. No sounds of distress. We did try to call back. Voicemail is not set up. Marshall, will you check her 29? 10 4. I'm showing 2 make So if you get the SUV, does that mean they like you more? Or? No. No. Yeah, just got lucky. Do you like luck of the draw? Yeah. When you're off duty driving your own car, do you ever forget that you're not in this car? Start looking for something that's in here? No. But when I am driving my off duty, I do to the speed a little bit. <laughs> I speed every day. I probably shouldn't tell you that, but. <laughs> Ever see that movie Big Trouble in Little China? Oh, that's, cool. that's a good one. Kurt Russell's a truck driver, he says. Never drive faster than I can see. Besides that, it's all in the reflexes. <laughs> Might go on the next driver, commercial. Be <laughs> we'll be clear. Last time you ride with me, hopefully. <laughs> Riding through the area of the 3800 block. So oh, so you don't have like an exact address? Yeah. We don't have this with the phone number. So what do you do with a situation like this where you don't have an exact location? You just, kind of, you just check the area, see. Copy 116. See if anything stands out. Yeah, see if anybody are outside waving you down, anything like that. That's all you can do. But, I mean, there was no sounds of the trust or anything. It was someone laughing. Uh, like I said, it, this happens all the time. 109, did you want a cab for it? Copy 142. Copy 142. Yeah, Mass.
to have a welfare check on a white male. I've seen wearing brown shirt, jean shorts, skinny with brown hair break. Color stated he was slouched over in the trees. Yeah. They're also adding that if he's walking to the one house at 5910, he could have walked down quarry. Barely caught that. Yeah, I didn't want his his niece. She just started driving. Hasn't even been driving for three months. I don't even think she even has her license to come over here and take my dog. I did not want my puppy. It's about this big, a thousand dollar dog in the car. Okay, everything was fine. Get back to pick up my car and drop the rental we had off. We took the kids to David Buster's and he had a rental um, head over Maryland. My my dog's at her house in in Hempstead. So I was. So I was like, what the f***? That was it. Got in, got in the car, pissed off. Since I disrespected her house, they f***ing disrespected me. Long story short, I come back here. Um, bitch, you're getting the f*** out. You, like, I have my children here. I've Is been your living, boyfriend saying all that? This is my fiance. I've lived here for about a year. We've been seeing each other for over two. I left, he had me. I gave up my own place, my own apartment, against my better judgment. Because we was getting, we're getting mad. Supposed to be getting mad. I paid the f***ing bills here. I paid the f***ing dwell on our rent here. And I got to tell me I have five minutes of my company's house to get my sh** Well, you don't have to worry about that because okay. if he wants you out of here, he has to take you. If you have any more questions, just give us a call. Thank you. Have Your name day. was? Deputy Frick. Frick? Yes, ma'am. F-R-I-C-K? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I was kind of just expecting her slamming the door in her face because she didn't want you there. <laughs> that that See, having me along keeps it interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. 
you either of your phone numbers in at 2931? 2931, that doesn't sound right. That's not... Hold on. But is everything okay here? That's all oh, I want to yeah, make sure. Yeah, but... Well, we just want to make sure who called. Yeah. Because you can't... You can't beat the kids if you don't know which one to beat. <laughs> How you doing? Yes, I said it. Beat you. Or better yet, they got a car, we can load you in there. It's just a little, uh, a little kid on the line, that's all. Okay. But I, I'm just making yeah, sure everything's all right. Yeah, because I don't, that number doesn't sound, it doesn't sound like their phone. Yeah. Any of their number. And I know it's not the house phone. That's well, all. As long as everything's all right here, I'm going to get on that. <laughs> you have a good day, man. Yeah. I love parents that beat their kids. <laughs> I'm on cash right now. Be standing by until you get that teletype. Happy one, thank you. I have all over the sooner. Finish up, finish up. Well, I heard you got, yeah, I heard you guys out here, so I was like, well, let's go out here. Yeah, I heard it. I know, but listen, well, no, I was sat there, I was like, there, but I went to unlock it, I was like, well, but yeah, but no, I thought it was because the one car beeped at me because she like cussed at me when she went by. I didn't mean to, I was just getting dizzy. I haven't taken my Kepra today. I haven't oh. taken my Keppra, which is speed, uh, seizure medicine, and I just started getting real hot. And like I said, when I came up on here, that lady didn't get some water. You're good. So, Give back your um, key and finish up. Thank you. I think Try to stay away from the white line. Your eyes. Thanks. So that was the old dizzy girl using the restroom scenario. Oh yeah. Right. She had the parental advisory shorts under the see-through pants. Did you catch that? No, it wasn't looking. <laughs> So where did this all happen in the parking lot? Or was it right in the parking lot? Right here. Right here? Yeah. In my front yard. Right. So let me sure, make sure I got this right. She comes over and drops the kid off. She can talk somebody else about something yeah. that you're saying is untrue. Yeah. She started, they started getting into it. She pushed her first. Mm -hmm. And then she decided to start fighting her. And then y'all jumped in. Trying to break it up. Yes. Pull it apart. Well, she was pulling her, my girlfriend. I was pulling her off. Separate. Who, uh, who's the other guy in the house? Was he uh, involved? Well, he saw it all. Yeah. Uh, you got your ID on you? Uh, I can grab it. Yeah. 
it's okay. Yeah. She said that she came here to drop her kid off. Right. And she was upset for some for the only reason she started getting um, angry with the guy sitting on the porch in the black shirt. Yeah. And that's when she came out to kind of intervene. And that's when they started fighting. So it was between her and yeah, her. Well, she kind of maybe a little bit more much emotional right now, so we'll see. Yeah. Who the primary aggressor? I mean, if it was between her and her, it's going to be warned regardless. It's going to be not a mess like that. Well. Because the way she described it was like five on the one. Yeah. You know, <laughs> what I would recommend if you think that there is. I have two of them. You can say, Chris, I have it right now. That's right. Her and combat between you and her which means it can go one of two ways either you guys can basically let it be for today move on you guys go to the hospital get yourselves checked out go from there I would recommend don't come back here without like a third party present or something because I know you guys still have to exchange children but I would do it if you have somebody else with you or in a public place like a sheet or something that's camera let it go well I'd not really let it go but just kind of let it die today and just move forward from it. Or if you guys want to pursue criminal charges, you have the right to do that as well. But both of you are going to get. Yes, I would like. I would like to press charges. She can press criminal charges on you just as well. So that's, you, that's fine. Just realistically, I'm going to tell her now. She's she's absolutely regardless. When you ask someone to hit you and they hit you, well, that's when you get changed to the. So that makes you the aggressor. So you don't get the option to pursue. Something happened. I'm sorry, I listened to that whole damn video. I don't have to let that happen. Alright? They obliged your request. What do you want? You asked someone to hit you, and it'll happen. So we'll ask her if she wants to pursue one of you. She was literally saying the same thing. You came to this house, drop off the kid. I get the, I get the, the whole, you hit my child. Do you realize if that's the case, why would you take your child back to danger? Get a I have custody no choice, order. Sir. Yes, you do. No, I don't. It, it's Emergency it's custody it. orders. That's a choice. An FPO. That's an option. Yes, I have the FPO paper. I'm like, put that behind. You come to us. I did. Apparently, not enough. Oh, Good job. Man. Don't, don't cuss. There's no I'm need sorry. to cuss. I'm not cussing at you. I, there's literally a 911 report from the other day of you calling. Don't take the child back oh, to sir. danger. 
Officer Hall, speak to him. I, I'm sorry. Hall? Yes, Officer Hall. And I also spoke to Officer Dale whenever I made the CPS report. And they let you take your child back? They said I had no other choice. You know, you get an emergency custody orders, there's, there's a choice. An FPO is a choice. If your child's being smacked in the mouth, hey, I don't see any magistrate saying no. Sir, I can literally give you those papers and you I mean, he told me that I filled out the wrong paper about well, it was coming an over here, I mean, at first you asking about your child being smacked, you did right. But then when you started asking someone to hit you, you kind of went over the line. Because I was, I'm sorry, yes, call me an aggressor, but I'm done. I'm done with them trying to silence my child. Do you think this is going to help it? I don't know. I don't know what would help because literally everything I've done has not helped. Keeping calm and collected and helping your child, this ain't helping. I have tried literally everything. The past almost four years, I have tried literally everything. And what he is trying to do is silence my daughter. I can't. How many? We've only met you for a couple minutes, so I'm not going to judge you as a parent. I can only judge by the situation. Right now, you made the wrong call today. And you're asking us to go and pursue charges on someone else. They only did what you asked them to do. You came over here, you got, you started great, and then you stirred up the pot by getting loud, and everybody starts getting on edge when someone starts getting loud, right? Someone starts screaming in your face, or are you no, gonna amplify yourself? No one would let me talk. I'm sorry I'm an aggravated mother, but whenever your child is put in danger and you can't do nothing about it, whenever you've gone to every extent, what else is there to do? Keep calm and collected and go through the court system like you're supposed to or else you're going to end up going through it yourself and then you're, you just lost your own battle. You understand? Because now, do you think it's going to look good in court? Your video goes against you. You had a pair, yeah, you did good and then you went straight. Sorry, that's that's it. And when we can ask them if they want to do it or we're going to leave this at mutual time. I'm not going to sway anyone anyway. I can tell you right now, I'm going to go over there right now, but do you want to pursue? They can do whatever they want. I'm still bringing it to court. And then you're going to get it. Alright, Kevin. So, obviously, this is all up to you. Um, he is the, you know, the aggressor. You can let bygones be out from the bygones. Go about it. Let it be due to combat. Or are you looking for any other? I just had to wish that he came from that. Are you doing it? Are you going to have a good trust test of paper? Yeah. For you, but I gotta make sure that is that what you want? And this is our, our family too. Like, well, I just want to do a trespassing and we'll take it to family court. Okay. She's been explaining, you know, she was the primary question there. And she showed up here and she was asking me to hit her. And yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. And she's on our property and I asked her to leave. You know what I mean? Right. Like, so. He's looking to see if they have no trespass papers. And if not, just come into the, the station and fill it out. Is that across from uh, Long John Silver's? No, that's state police. Oh, it Read is. Read the okay. front. Okay. They'll explain to you what to do. All right. All right. Well, thank you. That's good to go. Y'all have a good day. Uh, five nine, five nine, five nine, so good. Wait, is she back up there? There's another 400 getting in the back of it. Hey, you paid me for the hydrant. I can mow around it. Yeah. 
think if I let the grass grow up like six feet, it'd be like, all right. <laughs> four feet on each side there, but they can cut four feet, go four feet up. Right around it. Just put the grass around hey, it. Hey, see, my yard just use it. Property. <laughs> you take a wrench out there and open her up. But what are you doing? Like, my yard? Fine. I pay my water bill. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to buy any of those bar keys. Yeah. Do me, do me a favor, shut it off, because I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> it's been going for a while. I thought, I thought it would run out. The yard's getting flooded too. <laughs> grass is green now. Thank you. <laughs> you okay with him recording? Not really. Get get your story out there. How, how much you're getting ripped off here? How long have you known him? Well, Let's everybody know that he's yeah. he's ripping you off. Okay. So have you ever dealt with Matt? Not to move to you. Yeah, you might want to move out. I've already got my room reserved, but I don't get no money so much. I have nowhere to go. No need to go to the water. You said women's shelter. Well, two dogs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I got a little TV. I have your system in the shop. Uh, I'm just trying to give you some know. options, that's all. Definitely How are you? Here. Absolutely don't want to be here. Not too happy. Where's Matt at? I not tell y'all. Anything go down here today? I wasn't here. Okay. Right. So I don't know. She just told me we have no electricity. Yeah. None. Yeah, Matt, don't curse me. Show them where the light pole is. Right there. Well, I mean, there's not much we can do about him cutting out the electricity. But it, it don't that belong to the um, light company? That belongs to him. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised he didn't electrocute himself it's, cutting it. I wish he would have. Yeah, it would kill me. Said, that's His not trailer, nice. he cut I'm it off so, if he wants well, to. Well, what he did to me was nice either. I can't help, he's ignorant. You know what I'm saying? But come on now. That's I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not saying it's right, but I mean, I'm just saying, saying we can't it's do right anything about it. definitely not illegal. So what are we supposed to do? After we don't pay for Get out. Sue them. The best, <laughs> honestly. Where are we supposed to go? We ain't got no money till Monday. You said I guess we don't have no electricity till Monday. Wind is up. I guess I'm going nothing. Well. Put us in the motel to one. Issue with. Uh, Is that him right now? Go right ahead. He's in a white key on the hoodie. Oh, we didn't pass him when we were responding. But he took both air conditioners and his TV. It is his property. He can take whatever he wants. Yeah. When did y'all move in here? Getting a new. He moved in a year ago. Uh, I'm gonna see if they grow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, is there anything else we can do for you, ma'am? I mean, unfortunately, we can't do anything. I would just suggest get out of here. He's bad news. If you stay here, he's going to continue to have problems with you. 
Because they're riding. Alright. Well, no trespassing. No, he's with me. He's with us. So. Right, well, next, next time, call someone else for your problem. I didn't call. Right. I wouldn't have called. I would have put my windows right. up. Well, we're done then. See you. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, we'll see you again. Don't worry. You can watch it on YouTube. Well, she was rude. Yeah. That's how we do things here. Can you check this three with this red lens? Yeah. Ten four seven phone number. states that people are setting off large mortar fireworks. This is a little time too. Fireworks. Yep. It's around 4th of July, that's yeah. all people want to complain about. People in my neighborhood set them all year round. Ridiculous. This be like a random Tuesday. <laughs> We're setting off fireworks. It's like, what is going on? Is it a holiday I don't know about? Thank you for letting me ride along tonight. Deputy Frick, it's been a pleasure, yes, sir. and uh, have a safe night, you too, man. <laughs> law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised.